The end has called us. Oh god! <laughs> I think you he died. See that? Yes, nobody saw you strip on the carpet. Nobody saw that devil. It's alright. No, no one saw that. Hello everybody, Devil mm -hmm. here, and welcome to the nostalgic game. Well, series as well. They are working on Dead City. Yes, they are. Welcome to The Walking Dead. Yee! Telltale Edition. So, if anyone remembers this game, this game is, was basically being made at the time, you know, where zombie games were getting popular. And you know what? Telltale said, you know what? I just said, you know what? About three times right now. Just about, are y'all? Hey, let's make a game about everyone's favorite zombie game, The Walking Dead. Yes. And it's exactly that, and it's amazing. Well, it's been a while since I played this, but hey, I think I still remember who my favorite character was. Ooh, and that's true. His name was Lee. Yeah, Lee. Lee. Yeah, it's basically yeah, the man of redemption. The yeah. Of the hour. That's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah. So without further ado. Let's get into this gameplay. Yep. God, 400 days. Man, I wish I had. Yeah, so we're gonna start on a new save data. We're gonna delete this one. Yeah. And we're gonna select new games. Standard, more helpful from new eye and Nah, I think we're gonna need a lot of these days. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I haven't played this game in a while, so. Episode 1 A New Day. Woo! That's new. God, the art style and the whole theme of this game. Oh, yeah. Fuego. Die. This series. This game series goes by the choices you make on the way. Phone kind of crooked, but we can fix that. Bobby, not it. No, it's kind of crooked. The Walking Dead. There you go. Oh God. Okay. Happened again. Episode one. A new day. Mixed up in, but with all due respect, uh, a real shame. Is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. Huh. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? 
Killed him a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. But did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Oh. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... If I want to make anything a game like this, 
I would I would take inspiration from Telltale. Yeah. Cuffs off. Okay. Okay, so get the cuffs off first. Yeah, I'll pull it. You know we can reload it. Officer? God damn. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Officer? Oh, you repeat like? Say it with me. God, God damn. damn. <laughs> Officer? Sorry, let's go. God damn. <laughs> Officer? When you see that one officer and it's a chick. God damn. There it is. Officer! And she's For the community going off the rails. God damn. And she's sick. Officer! And she's sick. God damn. That's what I'm talking about, that <laughs> God damn. Yeah, let me hop my behind over there. Let me see what it looks like. Officer! Girl. God damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are a little bit farther than that. Jeez. I can take his keys. Or I could, uh, okay. Or I could assault him. Shit. Uh, I'm get those keys back. Come on, just step back from me. I cannot do that. Man. No, no, I'm talking about taking that from in real life. Yeah, in real life, you gotta turn the Officer! Oh! Holy oh, 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 shit! I'm backing up. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. What in the hell? What the fuck are you? Get away from me! Yes, turn to the gun. Go on to the gun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, oh! That's where I go. Do it.
This is absolutely terrifying. Go on, get out, get out. <laughs> Bitch, get off me. To be honest, no matter how many times I've looked at scene, it's possibly gonna be <laughs> terrifying. Yeah. Even in comic book style. <laughs> with some bourbon if I could. Huh. Is that on your mind right now? Help! Anybody up there? Hello? Anybody in there? I thought I saw a little girl in the forest. Are you up there? I'm not one of those things. I guess it's empty. All right, come on, Lee, let's explore. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Why? I don't think he knows what's going on. Look at that shadowy comic book. I'm sorry, I just, I gotta appreciate it. Hell yeah. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. I wonder if anybody's home. Is there anybody here? Okay, legally I would have been able to go through the old system through that porch. Come on. Hello. Anybody home? We need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Who says that and expects that to get shot? You'd be surprised. No, no, no. You'd be surprised. Really? You ah! Hello? Hello? Wait, I'm not an intruder. Not one of them. Yo, look at this art style. These people might need more help than I do.
No crap. Have you played time light? You show safety of day like that, yeah, right? Stay close to me. Let's go! And we got a hammer. A hammer is all I need. Just about. Dude, like he's bonking zombies' heads in a whole herd. A whole herd. Oh. 
Drive, brother God, please. Wait, wait up. I got you. Don't worry. Wait a minute. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. <laughs> Shut up, Daddy. That's what we're gonna get. Stay, stay right there, Clementine. Let's get the bad people. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Alright, we gotta we got take them with us. I'm leaving you home. I won't leave you home. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Yeah. From, they buy it from a child. Good idea. No, I'm joking. It's a great idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. But for a second, you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp out. What's going on? Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen it then? Hey! You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Hey, it looks good, Sean. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. Hey, Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm a dad. I'm a neighbor. A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Oh, we gotta go. Late and quick. Let's go. that they paid attention to so much detail yes, of the can. comic book. Yes, you can. My God. You just gotta love it. No, you truly do. You tell me otherwise, I have to fight. Sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Hey, bye. Have a good day. Bye. Have a good time. Thank God you're okay. Oh, wait. This is the I was worried it'd be bad here, too. And quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mayor's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chad. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. <laughs> You've brought a couple guests. Yes, uh, your boy's a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Yeah, I'm 
I'll spread my leg real bad. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. What? Herschel? Uh, how'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Police officer. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. We're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. Yeah. That doesn't seem necessary. It does. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Yeah. Your son is right. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Oh man. Oh. Come on, tell him. Oh yeah, I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, I'll do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Me and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it, really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Yes, sir. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? They'll probably just have to shoot you. Well, clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. All right. Come tomorrow, which way do you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. I feel suspicious in this family. But yeah, I do want to help Sean. Oh, I'll say a virtual It reason. smells like... Right. Shit. <gasps> Ooh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. Don't worry, I'll get you dead. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you dead. Get up. Ooh. Hey, it's the morning. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your oh, head. Oh, yeah, that's true. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not a dad. Hey, Miss Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, Kenny. no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. <laughs> that's my boy, Ken Jr. They call him Ken Duck, Jr. though. Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. Our family's from there. 
Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Yep. Sure, we'll tag along. Yep. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. <laughs> on the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Yeah, I like this group. There it is. Okay, there I got it down in that first. All right, all right. Didn't be doubtful of everything. Hey, don't look at that. Sean's still working on that fence. Why, this motherfucker sitting in the trap And that's a motherfucking wheel. <laughs> I'm over here walking to the red motherfucking bar. Y'all niggas don't know what the hell I'm walking to. Seems like those two are getting along. No, I'm sorry. These two are getting along. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You bitch, what are you talking about? Hey there, girls. What's up? What do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Yeah, it can. Oh, no. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. And, well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. <laughs> How did you handle getting through the city? Yeah. Kenny oh. just drove. We passed so many people. We just drove, huh? We just passed people. This is good enough. Over some, just, just. Are we just speed running this? Uh, it's okay. It's fine. Are we speed running this? Don't say anymore. I, don't think we are. I want to go home tomorrow. We, but even then, I can't take away the things we. Just about. The things Doc yeah, so went through. Yeah, sure. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? <laughs> This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. In these past couple days, at least. Ah. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. It's so, easy. you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. He seems like an all right dude. Let's talk to my boy, Kitty. No, his name is not Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, everyone's gonna possibly get the context of that. Hey there, uh, Kitty. <laughs> yep. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, 
We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna face us. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would've liked one then. You know, see you. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets a job. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. Nah, it's good. It's good. It's good enough. It's good enough. Oh, I am walking to a wall. I'm about to break the game. All right. Oh. Hey. How are you doing, Doc? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. Lift with your back, Sean. How are you doing, Doc? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. <laughs> I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that'd sure speed things up. Yep, I can do exactly that. Let's do it. And you know what else I can do with this saw? My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh no shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? To what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Sometimes, it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Yeah. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No, oh, man. I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Maybe. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, hey, hey, hey. when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I can help more people. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is so slow. All right, hey, how's uh, it doing, partner? How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck and I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Ever was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents, wife, girlfriend? My parents are in making with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. And now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. 
I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. This is as far as we're going. Better it's strong enough. Oh, which one? The, uh, the boy is about your age. The young kid. So basically, you know, you can't defend yourself. Sean can't. Not, not, not to, you can defend yourself, but not the way I can. Basically, right? You say that I can't ah! defend myself. No. Is that what you heard? Hey there! Kind of you friendly? Okay. Trucks run out of gas. Okay, I've been fighting a lot longer than you have. Right? Fuck! <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> Alright, continue, continue. I know you've been fighting, but at least I have some skill that I know no, I'm not going to I never said that. Well, but guess what I'm saying. He said, why did he shave the little boy first? He said little boy because he has less fighting skills than you would. So, if I'm try, um, I, I was to I would say, in any situation, I save you first because you're my son. But in any other situation, if it was all, if it was a, if it was a little boy, and little boy your age, I would say a little boy because I know that you would be able to possess a little more fighting skill than a little kid. But obviously, Sean was stuck with a fucking tractor on top. Oh, uh, but well, yeah, we can still keep the zombies off the back. Well, the little boy. Yeah, yeah, for some reason that scene didn't pop up. Yeah, the, the, honestly, the, the little boy should have jumped on the fucking tractor. He's an idiot. But Sean should have not been fucking like a little Still, uh, I owed Sean one. You owed him one, but at the same time, he drove me out of there. 
you did the right thing. You did oh, the right thing, my right. right God thing. dang it. <laughs> Lily? Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. No, you For don't. my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop it! What do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. What's your heart, Dad? You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody's doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. I'm gonna give you they a knuckle sandwich to your nose. You will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big Only deal. Only a That's it. You're going to whoop me? You and what? I'll give you another sandwich in that nose of yours. That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm going to kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Me? Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, yeah, you just been arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find yeah, my and watch. Much. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. Hey, we're tossing him out now. No, no, no. No. Hit him, Kenny. Knock Hit him, Kenny. This guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh. Come here. No. Kenny. <laughs>
Everybody's down. I told you, calm down. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. Oh, my pills. Uh, uh, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Why, because he's black? We'll do it somehow. We'll get in there somehow. I hate the way I did. Damn it. We need nitroglycerin pills. And after Please I give you your pills, I'll don't they ain't gonna give you a knuckle sandwich after Everyone that. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything yeah. useful. Hey, I'm about to break both of your buck teeth. You think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're no, right. You this ain't exactly nah. four knocks. Nah, 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 nah. We need as much you as possible can you mess so we can me. all get out of downtown. Step away from my brother. Or you're gonna regret it. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Doku. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. And after me, I'll beat him up. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Ooh, there you are. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? Oh, uh, yeah, she might, I suppose. Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last That's a coffee. reporter? You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? Can I pause and say, damn, that's a reporter? <laughs> okay, let me just calm my sack down. A disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eating about five feet away from me. I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You could never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Uh, nothing. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There's no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there's no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. God, this game! So many Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, all right. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. All right. And once I get there, I'll soon, I'll surely tell you. Trust me, I totally won't wait for a few hours and then all of a sudden be a, <laughs> be a man and just come up. Yeah, totally that's not going to happen. Okay, I've got to stop lying to myself. And lie to you guys. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead. Living dead cards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, huh? Mangalay, we happen to Ducky Ducks. Kenny Irma was 
respect. And I'm going to protect his boy as long as he lives. Guy, I really have forgotten. I don't remember them very well. Yeah, I don't think you're even... We know. just want him to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Appreciate it. That's sweet, Lee. Oh, boy. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Of course. I was stuck to it. He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? How should I know? Well, you'd ask her. I'm just trying to do the best I can. You are all she's got. And from the looks of it, that's a two-way street. Katja, give the guy a break. No, Ken. We don't know how long this is going to last. That girl needs someone to be there for her. And from the looks of it, Lee could use the same. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Doug? We've all been through a lot. Yeah, I could say that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, it's so insane. we ought to wait for things to clear up. Top tier. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Many did. I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Lee, you got a second? Yeah. Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice and kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. We got this together. We got this. Yo, Kenny's on the home. I don't know why, but already from the looks of him, he's a home buddy. He's a home buddy. Let me get this one. Hey, Clem, here's a chalky bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I love this game. No one can tell me otherwise. It's not damaged. Well, this place didn't get looted. <laughs> Why? You want to loot it? I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to need batteries. This battery should 
transmit the radio. Great, thanks. Transmit the radio, and now I think I've. I think I searched the entire place. Yeah, uh, let's go outside. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Heck yeah! Let's have a look around. Heck yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go, ladies. Here we go. Here we go. Hell no, it looks like hell out here. What am I saying? I'm actually gonna be honest. Hell ain't bad. But here, just make it look worse. I'm just gonna say hell ain't bad. Okay, maybe I take it back. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> They're equally the same. Yeah, just look away, buddy. Just look away. Look away. Gets you. They eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. But you can try. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. It's a combination lock. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. Not a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? There, most of who you see wandering around out there. Yeah. Dead. Music. God. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, it didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. 
I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. Yeah. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Yeah. If that could be done. You're from here? I You're work at here? Warner Robins, the oh. Air Force Base. Are yeah, you no. from here? Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Huh. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah. He's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. <laughs> yeah, big oh. issues. Where's her mom? Oh, so are you really trying to ask I that question? Think. Oh, so. you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. God dang. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Hey. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I guess I'm your dad does have now. a good uh, common sense. So just talk about. He's just trying to do what he wants to survive. With his own daughter. Alive inside. Is that a fact? Open that door. What's so, what's so problematic of opening that one singular door? Oh, the foreshadowing music. <laughs> it comes back to haunt me! I can't. I can't think about them in here. I should pause there, because God, that just hit me with some nostalgia about the music. Yeah. This was my favorite track. I wanted to... Guys, can you tell me in the comment down below what, it, what name is this track? It's so... Like, listen to this. It's a foreshadowing song. This door leads to the back alley. Mm. Yo, yeah, oh, this hits. It hits my heart. Oh, don't don't get higher. Can we get much higher? So high. Seem all right to you. Yeah, well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, yeah. we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. No, I'm making my main objective. I am gonna do that. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, no. Audio's means, apparently. The pets came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. A protector, at least. Yeah, 
Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. That's what I figured. So 
why don't you check the remote for the battery for the remote? Now we can get the radio on. If you just remove the, you know, the batteries from the remote. and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Good. Stay right I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor and get Glenn and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Let's go. Got too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. You could? Okay. Uh, <laughs> you could. <laughs> you could use a jog, right? <laughs> I got something for you to jog on. <laughs> what, those greeting cards? Nasty. <laughs> This remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Uh, wait a minute, I think we could. I think I know how to get out there. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Hell yeah! Let's have a look around. Okay. Bro, okay. What? Yo, man's always gonna say, okay, NPC. Remote! Oh, there's a sale. <laughs> is that the only thing you care about? Is it a sale? That's what it says. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Just throw it in a shotgun. It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's oh. try. Let's go. Well fucking done, Doug. <laughs> All that dark nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Now turn to it. You know you're like... You know you're like... Yeah, you six, 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 six. Well, <laughs> but not this. enough. Yeah. I've seen this show before. Uh, I guess I don't like new 666. Alright, so what do we do now? Um... Why are we gonna use a remote on the lock? Go to the other one. Yeah, right there. Right. Mm -hmm. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Oh, damn. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hit on that side. Pharmacy! Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. If they start rotting and just let up, me get out there. Shut up, dog. <laughs> Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. The fact. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Maybe if I go to the screen and try to raise the volume on the TV. Probably, yeah. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Brother, that 
Bradley's brother? We proved that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Yeah. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Bro, my God, bro. I can't reach that brick. What do you mean you can't reach that brick, bro? Those things like TV, or at least the sound of it. If we were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Maybe it means the volume button. Those brick. TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. If we can get that brick. I can't reach that brick. We mean it's so close. That's his bull. I'll tell you this bull. Let's head back inside. Okay. Okay. See how quick he is with it? Yeah, Alright. Let's go back inside. Okay. Alright, here we go. No hesitation. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what can we possibly do? I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Get it to work now. There you go. Alright, I'll check this out. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. <laughs> go ahead. Why do you say it's so weird? Uh, nothing. Maybe we change the channel? This is literally my stupidity. Hey, okay. This is why you gotta have a father to remind you. Check your battery. So now we're gonna turn. Now, now power. Power first. Power. And then power up. As the unknown affliction continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full stop, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off here. Steve. Take the cane. Can there you take, go. Can I take old grandpa's cane? Take the cane. And then you just grab the brick, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a logical thing to do. Photo. Wait, what? Sure, 
rebels here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who is sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? No, I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Universal, but 
Not that yet, or something. I know, Doc. Uh, I've got to knock that lock over there. Yeah. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're gonna help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. Alright, so we need something hard. Yeah. Something. So long and hard to get that. Man, my papa's cane! Let's head back inside. Maybe the cane? Maybe the cane! Am I the only one thinking about the cane? And let me they're gonna all of a sudden give me an option about the cane right now. I really hope so. I swear to God. Please tell me that this means I can get the cane and bust the door open. Please. Please. Now walk in there. Cover the cherry blossom Ooh, festival. Real hard hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. That did not sound fine. Really? You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not fucking fine. God, Lee, just leave me alone. I'm sorry. Ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, now we decided to go to the back door. Me, you ain't gonna go. What? Shit. Get down. Why is it look like Jimbo right now? There is Jimbo. these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No, we, we gotta go. No crap. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. Dang. A couple almost got me. She's gonna be a dog. up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> Man, at least you get again or Alright, all right, Aiden, what do do? Alright, so first I'm gonna jump off a few of these cars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna dump up with these cars and also I'm gonna grab a box and drop it all over their heads. Okay, yeah. this is the plan. We all know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's more than So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. No one subtracts these things. Now let's have a look around. She was like, okay. Uh oh. Exactly. We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. 
god! Tissue 
Happy to serve them. can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Yeah, I'm about to... <sighs> no, okay, we can't do it the foot way? You might want to break through that board first. Yeah, I think so. All right, I thought it would be instantly. But now we can't do that no more. you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Oh, dang. You have a boyfriend? What? I don't <laughs> want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know, that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Do it. Fine. You're all fucking crazy. 
I've seen what hell is like and it's coming back as one of those things! I know what you want to do. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. And I got an axe to ask that door a question. You do. So why don't I just shut the door now? Or you can chop the lock. Actually, you're right. Wait a minute, we have too many hard. Mm. <laughs> Alright, now that we have something hard, mm. we can uh, we can go over. You got you got to the back here, but yo, you wanna go outside? Yo, thank you. You want to go? No. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah, Let's go, roly poly. Let's have a look <laughs> around. <laughs> okay. Not trying to fast check. <laughs> All right. Time to break that up. I'm about to go. Cut, cut, cut. Awesome. Now distract those things carefully. A brick. I can't reach. What you big? But you got a fucking ass. Open the door. Yes. Now can you use the brick? <laughs> I'm about to say, if he doesn't... There! God! And now, what I'm gonna do with this brick, let's make some noise. Three. And a two. And a one, two, a three! I hit it! Oh! You hear that noise, right? Investigate it like the white people you are. Now's the time. That should be good enough. Well, Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Lee. Keep an eye out, will ya? Keep an eye out, will ya? Oh, well, why are we just walking over there? God damn it, why does it have to be my brother? Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for the life. So, yeah, I'm going to assume that's what happened. Yeah. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Give me a second. I need a bear my brother. There we go. 
Got the keys! Holy crap! Run! Uh, oh, why did you have to shut that out? Oh, time to run like a black boy! Yeah, I yeah, know. Later. Oh, no, wait, we can't lock that. Wow. I should have thought about that. Zip ties. Man, that was close. Oh, but he did it. It's all that matters. It's alright, Lee. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. We got the keys. And now we're gonna get this man that Great. really doesn't deserve to live. You're amazing. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Let's go. Let's get it. Finally, after so long, I got to use these dang keys. Let's get it. I'm about to say, if they don't work, I'm about to be pissed. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Oh no! She got a needle. She got like a, a pick in the shoulder. <laughs> I guess she couldn't help herself. Yeah. Yo. 
Jesus, turn over my stuff. Meanwhile, England, Atlanta, is now waiting Because you only use one bolt. Oh man, time time. It was so awesome. Meanwhile, the land has been downgraded temporarily for a meet with attacks and rioting being reported all the time. Don't Let's talk to everybody. Hey, go ahead. I think I need to go. To what? Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Well, go look, Glenn. Glenn Reeves. Good luck, my brother. Yo, I'll go up to the Yo, where's your dad? Where's your dad, my brother? Find your friend. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. Let's hope, we'll pray, pray, and, and, and believe in full of our lords that rule in the dark to and the light. I have to go from upstairs. I believe in both, so what? Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to get the gun. Why be crazy or say Tanner where well, you can love Maybe both. you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. See ya, Glenn. Hey, yo, you've been like a brother to me. And this is the part where he goes to Atlanta and they find Rick Ryan from the truck. Really? I really hate because I'm in my walking dead. No, it's, 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 it's all tying in somehow. Did you check the glove box? Wait, no, I'm glad you read it. Let's call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. Does he look like that? We have to take care of each other. Like, what yeah. more, you know, two minutes? Yeah. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. Thanks. You got it. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. Dude, where, where did that fat guy go? No, he's right here. Just look at him. How are you doing, Doug? He's the fat guy. No, the, the fat guy that puts my face. Oh, where is he actually? <laughs> Doug. We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. Still. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. Thanks, she liked you too. She liked you too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I'm looking at you and, and I want to give you toast. a punch you know to that big freaking nose. Oh, and then? Hey, Doc, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. Can you just look over it? I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. 
Glenn had the other one. I remember when I packed them up, I said, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. I'll fight. Let's go. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. But you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Watch yours as well. Hey, because I'm the one beating it for you. Yeah, I got a second. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. Uh, We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. Hey! I actually agree with that plan. Yes, sir! Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. Oh, the light is too oh, guys, right I think it's going to be okay. I knew it! Bro. Shit! We're dead. Is that it? Is that the end of the episode? Next time on The Walking Dead. Ooh. Mm -mm. What's gonna be on next time? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. What you look like crap, time? Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. Take it. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. <gasps> Howdy! I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! Let's do it together! You never liked my dad. Get back to the drugstore whenever we got Kenny's tick was bit. You went out of your way to side against him. Lies are you you and fifty-four percent people were honest. You you and fifty-two people chose duck? What? Players defended Kitty. <laughs> Damn Her right. Brother. You and forty seven gave her the gun. Chose duck. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Good night.